Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel again. And uh, the first part of my Tesla video is about the six things I like about it and the six things I don't like about it. It was a great success, I got a lot of views on it. So I did not waste any time. And here's the second part of the video that I'm filming right now about six things I do not like about my Tesla Model Y. And uh, you can see that the Model Y right here, it's my um, Tesla Model Y, of course, my own. It's a 2022 model year, so pretty recent. And so far, it's been doing great. And you can follow all of the info about the car on this channel. All right, let's get uh, right into it here on this nice uh, Sunday here. The uh, number one thing that I do not like about my tesla model y is actually something that's on the list that i like as well and i told you that it's the design you know while the design has some exciting features like i explained in my other video it also it's not very exciting you know you look at the car and you say well it looks good i think it's kind of pleasant to look at especially for a design that's a couple years old but it is not super exciting, you know. There are other cars that look a little more uh, sporty or elegant or exciting. This has a little bit of everything, but super exciting? No, I would not say so. Now, this is a long range model, not a performance model, so it does not have the spoiler. But even with that small carbon fiber spoiler, I don't think it's super exciting. And that aside, you know, the uh, performance model is a little bit lower it has the um, carbon fiber, fiber spoiler on it different pedals and that's about it of course it has different wheels too but so do i i bought these aftermarket wheels and um, let's stay right on the topic uh, number two is the rough ride the uh, tesla model y has always been known to have a little bit of a rougher uh, right, it's just not as comfortable as um, some of the electric vehicles of the competition and one of the reasons is the wheels So you get the Model Y with 19 inch, 20 inch or 21 inch uh, Wheel options the long range base usually comes with 19 inch and you can get it with 20 while the performance model comes with 21 inch uh, wheels I believe that is how it is maybe the, the performance starts at 20 and you can option for the 21 I'm not sure about that right now anyways I would always recommend to downgrade to 19 inch wheels some guys even go to 18 inch wheels or some girls uh, because the, the ride is a lot a lot uh, more comfortable the ride on the 19 inch wheels that I have on now is acceptable okay don't get me wrong it's not horrible it is acceptable but still it's a little on the rough side you know and a lot of cars nowadays are a little rough and while rough some people make it sound like rough is sporty no rough doesn't mean sporty rough ride is just a rough ride so i do like my uh, 19 inch wheels here it would look maybe a little bit better with the 20 inch wheels or 21 inch wheels but I like my uh, 19 inches. They're just a little bit more comfortable and uh, it, it really is needed. And Tesla upgraded the suspension uh, to make it a little more comfortable, but there is not much of a difference there either. So rough ride number two on my list. Uh, number three is actually something uh, that happens while you drive it and let's hop inside to talk a little bit about it inside and maybe we can get back out after that okay here we are so when you uh, drive the Tesla on autopilot and uh, you drive it on autopilot you are on the freeway and for some reason you go a little bit faster than five miles over okay uh, the autopilot shuts off first the lights all flash is there's a warning flashing and then the um, 
the uh, the autopilot, the full the, the autopilot with the full with the self drive turns off. So very annoying. You go ahead and tap this twice to turn it back on, but no, it tells you you can't. It's like uh, it, it is mad at you for doing something wrong, so it's deactivated. You can have the normal autopilot, which is in normal lingo for all other car people, the cruise control. The normal cruise control is still working, you know, and it keeps the distance too. That's still working. But the autopilot, where you can leave your hands off the wheel, that is off. You know, once you do that mistake that you hit the throttle and go faster than the maximum speed that Tesla wants you to drive. So Tesla doesn't want you to drive the five, five over the speed limit and uh, then it shuts off. Of course, you can just go on the normal cruise and then go 130 or whatever. I don't know, I wouldn't recommend that, just an example. Uh, it would let you do that, no problem, but you cannot do the autopilot and go way fast. That is something that Tesla does not want and can't do. Another thing is you um, get out of your lane a little bit too much because there's a car coming over. Uh, of course, it has the warnings beeping again and I don't, don't quote me on this, but I think if you do that several times, same thing, the autopilot just shuts off and you have to drive with the old fashioned uh, cruise uh, with the active distance uh, control. So while that's fine, it's very annoying. And uh, what you do to reset that is you park. We're hitting your parking brake here. And then the car uh, is, is resets it. So then you keep going and put it in drive and go. And the car is, is reset. And you can drive again. Your autopilot works normal. So it is something I think they have to think about because when you're on a road trip and that happens a couple times not cool and of course they do it for safety but sometimes it just happens not because you're an unsafe driver but just because of the circumstances you know you might just um yeah have a car come over so you cross the line or you just pass someone so you go a little faster stuff like that it happens and it is a little bit annoying so that is something I um, do not like and uh, on the same note with the tag inside here the the high beams they're automatic so they turn on automatic when they can at night which is great feature but you cannot turn them on manually doesn't work you try to turn them on manually doesn't work see that says automatic and see that and when I tap them automatic that goes off it goes back on and it does that at night as well. So you can either turn the automatic function off or on, but you can never keep your, your high beams on manually. At least I can't figure out how. Okay, you can just hold the stock down, but that's not good or pull it up the whole time. That's not good. Well, most times it does a good job at turning them on and off. Sometimes you want to do and keep them on a little longer because you know that you drive through town where the cats are out at night and you want to see it without hitting a uh, neighbor's cat. So yeah, not not cool and I, I see that what they want to do, they don't want people to blind each other, it's great, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit annoying. So not uh, not cool. Okay, that was number two. Uh, the number three is the interior materials. See, the interior looks good. Though. You know, that line here is pretty cool, you know. Reminds me a little bit of an old Buick, though, but no matter. Doesn't matter. That looks good. This is real wood. So, not complaining about that. But here, see this whole panel here, all that plastic. It is soft. There's plastic here, and there is a big plastic panel. See that? And there too, it's scratchy plastic, and there's plastic here, and it's it's there's a lot of plastic in here, and um, yeah, well, this feels okay, uh, this feels okay, you know, this is just great plastic again, but it feels good, everything feels good in here, but the quality, I don't know, especially this here, it looks a little cheap, it's just not on top, it's not it. 
doesn't align well with the price category of this car so um, that's something I don't like it's the quality of the interior I am okay with the looks of the interior I'm okay with the quality of this it's real wood it's not fake um, those seats here is not real leather it's like vegan leather and they're actually made out of uh, cactus leaves uh, very interesting I'll have to make a video about that and they feel okay though they feel good I mean the way they are stitched that that feels good you know the stitching here is a contrast stitching which is good too but you know what I mean it, the, the other plastic and uh, the hard plastic here that just is not great not when you shut the doors they don't feel like you know it doesn't sound like quality listen and you go and you shut the doors a different vehicle like that Audi we had in Europe sounds a lot more like quality so that's another thing number three the uh, quality of the interior I am not super uh, happy not super happy with that so okay what else do we have uh, the red the rough right the cameras the cameras or we have plenty of cameras here we have an in the, in the B pillars here, we have one at the front, we have some up here, we have some on the fender, plenty of cameras, but what we don't but what's it that we don't have? We don't have a camera at the front, at the nose of the car in the grill. It doesn't have a grill, but still, there needs to be a camera somewhere there. When you park any other car, any truck, you always have a camera at the front and you can see exactly how close you get to the curb or whatever it is here you cannot you know there's no front camera uh, except for the one up here and that view is not good enough to see how close you park also there's no 360 view and that's the rear camera by the way you can't even turn this camera on while you're parking you can't when you have the dash cam of course it functions as a dash cam and it films the whole time but you cannot turn it on to see how close you get and Tesla does because they know it doesn't do you any good it can kind of gauge how close you are but not really so not cool not cool and I do not like that uh, of course the Tesla tells you on here how close you are getting when you're approaching something it tells you by the inch even good system but the camera still would be good to have that and have a uh, 360 view so really really not uh, not great where are we at now we had the design we had the interior materials we had the autopilot we had the rough ride no 60 cameras so at number five okay number six what should I pick as number six to my mind something comes to my mind right away look at the seats they're not ventilated they're not cooled and not ventilated my Mustang 2017 model has AC ventilated seats so the AC cools them down and ventilates them really nice my old Ford F-150 was a Ford 2014 model of platinum had that as well our new exp our 2020 Explorer it's not new anymore um, 2020 Explorer has ventilated seats but they're not cooled but at least there's some air coming out of those seats so it's not sweaty this car does not have that they're heated the rear seats are heated really good they're comfortable they're comfortable seats I really have to say they're comfortable seats but they are not vented and yes that is something um, no I think that's not cool they need to be vented and uh, not just yeah not seats that are heated and no vent and not no air conditioned no, no not with those temperatures we have right here uh, not cool so that would be my number six the um, seats and if, like always there's more but those are the main the main uh, issues I see with this uh, vehicle the Model Y another one would be this here should come standard and I didn't put the last half in but this should come standard like other uh, other SUVs in the segment have it if you have the glass door you should have a, um, a possibility to cover it and also if I'm not sure if you care about that but the view to the rear is really small see that you can you cannot really see out of the car so if you park it without any sensors or cameras it would be pretty pretty hard to do see you, you can't see much 
out through the rear so that's just for me not important I'm pretty good at parking and don't, don't really care about that but uh, for someone who cares about uh, doesn't park well and cares about that that's something that should be uh, addressed okay let's bag up and go close to that trailer there and I'll show you how the car shows you how close you are and by the way it tilts the mirrors down too when you back up that's a good thing but you see and it does the same with the front too but it does not have camera at the front I'll show you demonstrate that just so get a get an idea see we are now approaching it shows you exactly how close we are 30 inches see yeah 13 inches close so it's good that it does that that's to the front but I still wish we had a uh, we had a camera in a 360 view I think it's really needed and a vehicle like that expensive okay let's see what it does ah, it thinks there's not a vehicle there look at that it's popping around let's see if it shows us stop so now we are very close and um, there's no camera view to show that and they would really benefit from a camera there so that's what I mean and I could go in the dash cam now and it shows you how close we are uh, on the dash cam but not really on here and let me see if I find that okay here's the dash cam and here's the view you have from the dash cam that shows you when you park and you can tell that that's very not uh, useful let me forward it a little bit uh, a little bit more here we go what's it doing is it moving there now we are turning around going to the trailer and we're very close and you can see that view is pretty useless there and it really needs a camera in the front grill somewhere so you can tell better how close you go see that still moving still moving now it stopped okay this is the live view so yeah that is one thing Tesla needs to change even if they would activate this top camera there would be useless so you need a camera in the grill and with that they could also um, go on a 360 view if they wanted to and I think that would be a feature what a lot of people would enjoy on the Tesla all right guys I hope you enjoyed this please 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 um, subscribe and like this um, channel and just a reminder go over to my second channel enthusiast walking tours and uh, subscribe there as well you can find the information in the about section on this channel Please do that and enjoy the walks with me and the car rides and uh, have a wonderful day.